Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today's video has us looking at some strange shaped coils or springs. Here we've got a tapering one and the other one you saw was a very strange shape. So there's no real direct way to do this in Fusion 360 so we're going to learn a little hack that lets us do this. So follow along and see how you go. Once you've figured out the basics, uh, you'll be able to create pretty much any shaped spring you want. For our first example, we're going to maybe do two or three. Uh, we're just going to have a tapering spring. So I've got my shape like that. And the idea is that the spring will taper up towards the top. Finish sketch. Now I'm going to do a surface revolve. So just revolving that line on the z-axis. And there we've got our cone shape and this is going to make up the shape of the coil. Next we're going to go back into solid and create a coil. And I'm going to do this on the top plane and do it at the origin. It doesn't really matter how far out it goes so long as it's smaller than the opening. So I'm going to just do it at 10 millimeters and then drag it up to Sort of just sticking out past the top. It doesn't really have to be perfect because we're going to have this cone cutting out our shape for us. Just going to make sure it's a square there. And I'm going to turn off our body one just to see sort of how many coils, how many revolutions we've got. I think eight's a bit many. So there we go. We've changed it to four. We'll turn this back on. And we'll go back into surface. So here we'll go create and ruled. So we're going to create a ruled surface. This allows us to kind of drag out uh, a bit of a piece of geometry. So I'm going to go to this bottom one. If I select the top one, it'll be slightly off the ground. So I want it to be this bottom one. Grab my arrow and just drag it out. So it doesn't have to be super big, just big enough to go past our cone shape and OK. Now we'll go to trim and we'll select our body one, that's our cone, and it's going to be cutting away at that geometry or that body we just made. I'll just turn off our coil as well as our body one. We're left with this. So what we can do is go back into solid. Um, we'll create a sketch on any plane. So for this, we just we're just using this to select the geometry. So go create, project include, and 3D geometry. So I'll just hover over our body and click on it. Finish sketch. Now when we turn it off, you can see we've got this coil geometry. I'm just gonna delete those lines. We don't need them we want this coil shape on the outside from here i'm sure you can guess what to do but we'll go through it anyway construct plane along path and we'll select this i want this right at the end there so i'm just going to make this one and now we'll create our spring profile on this new plane that we've done so it's going to be a five millimeter spring i hope five works um, you'll see that if if your profile is slightly too big and it's likely to intersect itself, it won't be able to process it. It'll say, it'll give you an error. So we'll select our profile and then the path. And there is our first spring. That's a nice neat coil spring. Um, so with this technique, you can pr create pretty much any shape. I'm going to do another one now, quite a bit bigger, maybe some more uh, coils in it. We're just going to create another sketch. So create sketch, select the plane, and I'm going to use the spline tool this time. It's going to be quite a bit bigger. And it's just going to have this really strange little curvy shape. So that is a bit of an odd shape. Let's see if we can get a spring around there. 
again go into surface and we're going to revolve this shape around the z-axis and OK. Now if you remember the last step we create a coil on the top plane center it on the origin and again you can make it any diameter you want this one's a lot larger than our previous one so I'm just going to bring this all the way up there so it's just sticking out the top I actually want to turn this body off so I can get a better idea of the coils so I think five coils is maybe uh, too few so I'll change it to nine so there's nine revolutions in this coil and we'll go back to surface create and ruled surface so we go and select this bottom line again and drag it out again just past well as far as you want really either way it's going to do the same thing finish and then I'm going to turn our coil off and trim our trim body will be our odd profile we made it's going to be trimming that part now we can turn off the bodies and we've got this odd shape here next we go create a sketch on any plane will do we just need to go create and project include 3d geometry I'm going to select that finish sketch now when you turn it off we again have this odd shape Now construct plane along path and we're going to draw our spring profile on here. C for center diameter circle and this time I'll make it 6. Maybe I should do it 8, a little bit bigger. This is actually a very large spring so let's try 15. It might intersect and we'll have to change it but let's see how it goes with 15. Looks like that wasn't on the center. Let's try that again. That's very strange. So we have construct, plane along path, select our path, and make sure that's on one there. Great. And there we've got our origin. So this time it should work. So I think I had that at 15. Finish sketch. And we will create our sweep. Sweep select profile select path so there we've got our very strange spring um, as you can see there's no direct way to do this so this is a bit of a hack but it works um, if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe consider becoming a member uh, if you read the member levels you'll see you get a couple of perks um, it just helps me get more content out as well until next time bye